Back in November of last year, I decided to switch to Radeon after using Nvidia for a decade. I already made a couple of videos right after making the switch. And in today's video, I thought I would update you guys about my experience using a Radeon GPU for nine months as a long-term NVIDIA user. We're gonna discuss about the issues that I had, some things to keep in mind in case you're also thinking of making the switch, and finally, I'm going to tell you which brand I'm going to be sticking with moving forward. In fact, I already bought a new graphics card. It's actually running in my rig over here, and I'm going to reveal it towards the end of the video. The NVIDIA GPU that I had before getting the 6600 XT is the RTX 2070, and I want to make it clear that I didn't really have any major issues with it or any of the previous NVIDIA cards that I owned. Everything worked fine for the most part, and performance as well as temps were also good, at least with the models that I owned. The thing is, I always wondered if Radeon cards really are as bad as some claim them to be. I had seen tons of comments mentioning how bad the drivers are. My friends who never even owned a Radeon GPU would tell me that AMD cards are unreliable, run extremely hot, etc. All of which are things that you've most likely heard as well. So as someone who enjoys messing around with computers and reviewing hardware, I made the decision to switch to Radeon and find out if AMD cards are in fact a bad investment. I'll admit it took some time getting used to the new graphics card and the adrenaline software. Things just didn't feel right initially, but after messing around with the software and checking a few guides, within a week or two I got used to the interface and completely forgot that I switched to Radeon. Man, I can't stress enough how much I love the Adrenaline software. You have everything you need here, all the settings are nicely laid out with a clean UI, and there is no need to sign in. It really doesn't get any better than this, NVIDIA take notes. Performance-wise, I'm also more than satisfied. Given you have a good processor, the 6600 XT is an extremely capable GPU. I already compared it to the 2070, you can check out my detailed comparison up here, but long story short, they trade blows and either of them can fall behind or outperform each other depending on the circumstances. For those of you wondering, the reason I went for the 6600 XT and not something more powerful is because my goal here wasn't to upgrade, rather to see how Radeon stacks up against Nvidia at a given price, and so far I am quite impressed. In fact, performance in some titles like Apex Legends and Warzone 2, for example, is so impressive with the 6600 XT, it makes you think that it competes with a much more high-end GPU. Once again, I'll leave the comparison up here. Okay, so now let's talk about the issues that I ran into using the Radeon GPU. During these nine months, I've been updating to nearly every single driver release, and I came across two bad drivers out of about 10. What would basically happen is some games and applications would crash shortly after launch. Thankfully, a bad driver doesn't mean a dead GPU, so it's not a huge problem. All I had to do was simply roll back the drivers by uninstalling bad ones using DDU and installing whatever I had before. Bad drivers aren't exclusively a Radeon thing, unlike some might think. This can happen regardless of whether you're using AMD or Nvidia. I mean, just look at their driver release notes. Both companies are constantly fixing problems, and sometimes new driver releases can introduce new bugs and issues, which isn't uncommon. The rest of the problems aren't really as significant, but at least I did not have them with NVIDIA. For example, whenever my screen goes to sleep, sometimes it keeps flashing no signal every few seconds. I tried changing cables and ports, but unfortunately I was unable to fix it. Another issue happens in Apex Legends, which is something I already mentioned in my first impressions video. Whenever you launch the game with an NVIDIA GPU for the very first time, after installing drivers or after a big game update, the game loads up and compiles shaders for a minute or two, after which you can start playing without any stuttering. For some reason, it doesn't work the same with AMD GPUs. Basically, shader compiling just doesn't happen at all whenever you launch the game for the very first time, because of which the game initially stutters, though the stuttering mostly goes away after about 5 to 10 minutes of gameplay. 
Now, I want to make it clear that this happens only once, either after a fresh driver install or after a major game update, meaning next time you launch the game, you're not going to have any stuttering. Once again, it's not the end of the world, but of course it would have been better if this wasn't a thing. By the way, this issue only occurs in Apex Legends. Other titles like Forza Horizon 5, Cyberpunk, and many more don't have this problem. I came across this last issue when I was working on the i7-960 Revisit and only realized this when I switched from Radeon to NVIDIA. Apparently, Radeon cards tend to lag in legacy BIOS. Basically, the 6600 XT is a tad slower when navigating through the legacy BIOS, while the 2070 is noticeably snappier. Other than these issues, though, that I don't find to be disastrous, I've been quite happy with my 6600 XT. Whatever it is that I've been doing over the past nine months, whether we talk about playing games, recording gameplay footage using real life, editing photos and videos, everything's been running perfectly stable without any blue screens, any driver issues, or anything like that. Of course, I don't necessarily mean that Radeon is perfect in every way, I just expected things to be much worse because of the unbelievably negative feedback online, which honestly gives me an impression that majority of people complaining about poor performance and driver problems with Radeon are likely the ones to blame for not knowing how to properly install GPU drivers, for example, because I've seen plenty of positive comments from Radeon users as well who didn't have any issues. Alright, so right before ending today's video, I thought I would share which card I decided to get. So here's a quick edit for you. But before the reveal, I want you to stop the video, go in the comment section, and guess which card you think it is. And there you have it. This is my nine month journey with Radeon, which I decided to extend with the RX 6800. I don't think my decision is a surprise for some of you, because as I mentioned previously, I believe I used Nvidia for long enough. On top of that, I fell in love with the looks of the 6600 XT from XFX. I think they just nailed it with the design. And once I saw how sick the RX 6800 Merc 319 looks, which, as far as I'm aware, is also one of the best 6800s you can get, I just couldn't resist. It's definitely been an enlightening experience, and it turns out things aren't nearly as bad as people make it out to be. Who knows, perhaps I'm wrong and I've simply been lucky. So I guess I'll keep using AMD cards and changing my setup along the way, up until I run into an issue so serious that it will make me want to go on Reddit forums and let everyone know that Radeon is trash. Until then, if you found this video interesting, make sure to have a look around the channel and feel free to support my work. There are a few ways you can do that in the description down below. Either way, thank you all for watching. Be sure to leave a like, subscribe for more content, and I'll see y'all in the next one.